You are now listening to Lush Radio Online. Greatest thing about Dick Wolf is he takes topical events and subject matters and tries to implement them in you know a lot of his shows. Um, you know, I think he did that with Law and Order, of course. And I think with ours, he takes certain topical events um, and implements them in more of a medical format. Um, you know, I feel every single one of our cases has actually happened. You know, whether the obscurities of, of certain ones, um, we literally go through logs and logs of of books and histories and magazines and newspapers and stuff to find these particular cases that are rare but that we love to kind of implement and now with the times of today and these topical events there's definitely storylines um, that run through them and through me uh, Ethan Choi kind of runs what we call Baghdad which is kind of a, a trauma center where most of the cases of gang violence and gang shootings kind of go there where you have to kind of treat and, and get them out because it's almost like a revolving door so i will say in episode two um we kind of pick up on that especially with the gang violence and the gun violence and uh i'm actually there is a a, a naval officer that's shadowing me so he gets to see the day-to-day -day lives so when he goes out into combat it's very somewhat similar i mean you can't really you know predict what's going to happen during the war but in our situation we try to put him in an atmosphere that is as closest to it as we can. So, you know, running that storyline, we really get into those issues about gun violence, unfortunately. And also, um, really, your officer is very important to the You are actually a veteran. I am. And I mean, PTSD, I feel like, is a, dis a disorder that we don't know enough about. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's happened to many of, of the soldiers out there that, you know, have, have been men and women of service, you know, um, the heroes of our real world. And, you know, for myself, I really wanted to just be as authentic and true to them as possible. You know, I feel like um, in my portrayal, I wanted to get as deep and associate the disorder as much as I can, all while trying to function as a normal human being, being pas passionate about my character and definitely being passionate about the patients that I treat. So I feel like it's wonderful to have that subject matter kind of open up the eyes of certain people that may or may not have been influenced by it or the ones that, you know, need someone or something to actually relate to, you know? And I love that we're able to kind of showcase that, especially with our show and, and especially with Ethan Joy. I think the show itself is a lot of the life of the soldier. And it's more so being a veteran and your character. What is this trauma war zone? It's a war zone. And you have to deal with the man on a day-to-day basis. Right. It's so realistic. And the other thing that um, you are definitely pushing through is that you, um, you are just a perfect specimen. Thank you. You can play as the old guy, you can play as the gangster, you can play all kinds of different your birthday. Thank you. And the thing about it is that um, when it comes to your character, you can actually be playing like this guy, you know, the bad guy most of the time. Right. But for you to play this guy, you're actually so lucky as a doctor, you're so passionate, you love your patients. Thank you. There, and you do an amazing job portraying that to your audience and stuff. I know you guys went to like a, a boot camp, like a medical We did, camp. yeah. Uh, I, before we started season one, we did a, uh, yeah, exactly that, a medical boot camp for about, uh, I want to say two weeks. Um, you know, we have Dr. Andy Dennis, who's basically, gosh, um, the medical guru slash, um, I guess the heart and soul of our show as far as all of the medicine. You know, he kind of runs the hospital that he is. He's like the number one trauma surgeon and fire you know so he's really has the pulse on his city and our show and what we like to do is you know art imitates life in many reasons and um especially with andy on our side he'll definitely let us know when we're not doing it right 
And so we want to be as authentic as possible because I think that's what our show is about. So I have some little birds in the red room with the Yes. Yeah, so is there any on that? Uh, little little birdie, um, <laughs> uh, little birdie pun intended. Um, that there, I will say this. Yes, um, we left off with Ethan having a relationship, and she had to go away somewhere. But she will be back. I won't oh, say that okay. much. She will definitely be back. Good. Okay. Good. Also, um, another thing I want to ask you, um, being that Ethan is representing us, Um, I think I'm stuck in certain stereotypes just in general, whether it's the stereotypes of, of Asians in a particular, I guess, role, whether it's, you know, the, the Asian geek or the Asian gangster. So I've played, unfortunately, many of those in the, in the kind of the, the bad guy situations and hopefully things will start to change and they are starting to change right now. You can see not just Asians, but all ethnics, you know, being in lead roles with, you know, with heart, with soul, with stature, not necessarily playing the stereotype. Um, I will say this to jump on your question about transforming into like a Chinese or a Japanese or Korean or whatever the Asian might be. I feel like no one ever questions Daniel Day-Lewis for playing Abraham Lincoln. So why is it any different for us? I feel like if the actor is right for the character, say number one you have to love it it's the one business that if you don't absolutely love then you should do something else um you know and it's not going to come easy and no one's going to give you a role on a silver platter and something you have to work for so i feel like every person that wants to try or dip into acting has to you know start from the ground roots you know you got to find your own and, and go into classes and go into school and kind of um find your way and find yourself within the craft that's the most important thing because once you have those roots kind of set in, then you can go off and start auditioning and doing this thing. But without those roots, um, you're kind of, you know, doing a two steps back, one step forward kind of deal. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Brian T. giving a shout out to Lush Radio Line.